son of an engineer and having a community of people that, that just that were always doing, dreaming and doing and, and creating and, uh, and I just was really fortunate to, uh, to, to be there. I mean, I, I just have the earliest memories of building and doing things, whether it be a hammer in my hand or, or you know, a shovel. It was always part of who I was at a young age. This is my little back cave that I come to every day. My office that uh, I start my day out and basically finish it and come, come back from a ride to. And, I still build frames, I still build wheels, I still, you know, prototype all the all the parts that say Rucci on it. I still have my frame jig the way it was 30 years ago and I've got everything where I need it. I've got my 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 grinders, my welders, my lathes, my mills. I've got wood a wood stove, keep my little shop warm. This is it. Whether be now 55 years old or when I was five years old getting my first bike under the Christmas tree it was all about what that meant and that meant freedom my dad had some tools in the shop and I you know said dad I really you know I want to build my own bike living in the Silicon Valley living in Palo Alto living in the center of you know to me you know that still is the creative universe of, of, uh, of talented engineers and, and designers that people just thought it and did it. I mean, it wasn't like a big deal. My dad said, yeah, let's make a bike. There were no books to read to help someone. Either I was the son of a frame builder in Italy or England, or I was figuring it out on your own in the United States, like, like other frame builders who were far, few and far between. I not only built my first frame when I was 15, but at 16, I built my own stem. <laughs> which was considered crazy in people's mind, but it was half the weight of a Cinelli stem. You know, it's selfish. I was, I was a racer at 15 years old trying to, trying to keep up with the Olympic team. And I needed every advantage I can get. And now I'm 55 years old, still trying to keep up with the Olympic team. <laughs> I still need every advantage I can get. You know, as I go back to it, it was all, I was just trying to make a better bike for myself and people saw that, uh, that there was more choice than than products that were made in, in Europe. This, this stem is, is kind of unique looking. Most people see how it's different on the front face plate. The traditional clamping force of a front face, face plate stem puts all the force into the bolts. And really what that does is uh, that means you have to really tighten up the bolts tight. And what, what you're trying to do, as I said, is, is that only have them as tight as, as they need to be. And when you design this structure to wrap around the bar more, over 180 degrees, 260 degrees, you create a softer grabbing interface that lets you tighten around a thinner, a thinner object without damaging it and still uh, maintain the structural integrity that you need. I'm not a marketing driven company. I've never been a marketing driven company. I've got great people that help me with marketing, but for the most part, um, we, uh, we are a design-driven company. I race, I ride, I ride a lot, and, uh, and, I, and I don't really concern myself with you know, the marketing trends or a lot of fads that, that come along. I find myself you know, sometimes rubbing shoulders with some of the best riders in the world in these races, and those, I learn from that. I, those are those are unique gateway opportunities for me that's unique to who I am, unique to my company, you know, that I'm going to be shoulder to shoulder with a Thomas Frischneck or a Bart Brengens or a Christoph Sauser or someone like that, that is, that is at that moment beside me. You know, it may not be for long, <laughs> but at that moment they're beside me. My future is, is really, I, I, I need a better ride more than I've ever needed. And my company is 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 committed to making um, to making products that 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 fit well, that are adjustable, that have a better ride than they've ever had. And whether it be the reintroduction of steel bikes and people rediscovering the value of, of those kind of things that made me tick in the beginning, or the or the other products that offer more comfort or adjustability, 
or weight savings or performance advantages, those things I need more than ever because I'm getting old. For the most part, I wanted to ride my bike. You know, I didn't want business to interfere with me riding my bike. And it's been that way pretty much. And, you know, you can ask my employees and, you know, to some of them, it's probably, you know, kind of a joke um, that, uh, or maybe not a joke, maybe somewhat of a, of a, uh, of a sore spot that they wish I'd work more <laughs> and show up more at the office. But I just found myself being the most creative on my bike.